I'm going to sign this parenting plan. So what that means, Ms. Erickson, is um, you're going to have uh, you're going to have visitation with your child until you get that parent your that evaluation done. Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have a clip from Judge Patricia Fassett at the Cowlitz County Superior Court in Washington. She has a couple who are going through a child custody dispute, and the woman, the mother, is a scattered mess, just a complete mess, as you'll see. And they went to court earlier and there were some specific things that she was told to do. And the only thing she did was she got her hair follicle test. But that one thing that she did, there's something really fishy about that. And I don't want to give it away, but there's something fishy about that. Let me know what you guys think and I'll let you guys be the judge. Anderson and Erickson, 23300015 that matter's ready, Your Honor. All right. And I see Ms. Erickson present. And um, I'm trying to make a bottle. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I have. Uh, we were here last week um, and on the 12th, and I set this over one week to allow some um, information to be filed by Ms. Erickson and told her she needed to do that by the close of business on the 12th. Nothing has been filed. Um, I, I, I filed things. What? Nothing's been filed. I filed things. I filed everything in there. I, I filed everything. How, how is that even possible? And so, Your Honor, just so you're aware of what- How is I'm that possible? I'm guessing what she filed. Um, we we did receive a mental health evaluation from May. It was the original one that I think that we were kind of aware of, but we hadn't seen. It was not collateralized. It's just Miss Miss Erickson, her evaluation. There's no collateral contact with the GAL or my client or anything. Um, it was the initial one that we hadn't seen, but the GAL said um, at the time, this is not collateralized. We need it collateralized. It was by that same contact that um, I had informed Ms. Erickson that he would discuss it with her if she called him back. Um, we did also get the hair follicle back. It was negative for everything, including Suboxone, which was really kind of shocking considering Ms. Erickson claims that she's on 16 milligrams of Suboxone a day. So um, this is the second hair follicle that was negative for Suboxone as well. Um, I believe Ms. Erickson's argument was that her body's used to it, but that's not how it works. Um, it still shows up. Buprenorphine still shows up in your hair. Um, unless there are those shampoos, I guess, that you can get to, to remove it, but they remove everything. So I am a bit concerned about that. Um, at this point, um, I'd ask that either my parenting plans be entered as they are, that final orders, Ms. Erickson has received those, or that if we're going to do any sort of joint schedule that my client maintain all um, decision-making ability, because there's been non-compliance the entire time. Um, we had to go through so many contempts, so many things just to get here that I am concerned that my client will be back in court next week, the week after, the week after. Um, it's just not going to work. Miss Langford's here as well, um, the GAL. Um, I know she's been discharged, but I'd ask the court to maybe weigh in with her. We've already had a trial on this. Miss Erickson has had every opportunity to get these things collateralized. This is not her first go round. She has had three other cases with other children where she was asked to get collateralized mental health evaluations. She didn't in those cases either. Um, this is, you know, there's only so much we can do. I've tried to be incredibly helpful. I called, you know, her her counselor. I said, you know, this is what we need. He said, fine, have her call me. I told her, call him, call him. He can help you out. To the best of my knowledge, I've received nothing that's collateralized. This is from May of this year. It's no changes. There's nothing that the court is very specific on. We want collateralized evaluation. You have to get this updated. It's, it's easy. I just fear that nothing will be um, nothing will be done as it should be. It'll all approximate something without going that extra level if we don't have my client have joint or sole decision making um, to everything. Um, yeah, Madam Clerk, do you do you show anything filed? I I don't have anything. I have things that were filed after the twelfth, but those were all filed by Miss Winkles. 
Um, are you showing anything that was filed that hasn't been scanned in or? Odyssey's loading, hold on. I'm sorry, this is really odd. I, I, I filed them. I, I packed the baby up in the baby carrier and everything and with my four-year-old, we filed them. So there's nothing new in Odyssey unless maybe she filed it this morning. I put my whole entire life. Or if there were issues and it got rejected, but they would have called her. Yeah, and I, I filed a parenting plan too, which is odd. I did everything that I was supposed to. Well, I want to remind you, you did everything you were right supposed now. to two months later than you were supposed to, but. Um, I know, I'm sorry. I do I, apologize I, with that. I was behind. Well, that's that's part of the problem, Ms. Erickson. Uh, I understand, again, how difficult this process is for somebody that's not represented. Um, but we had a trial on this matter on the 26th of October. I gave you almost two months to get everything filed, and there's still absolutely nothing in the file. Absolutely nothing. And that... Um, does not that doesn't work for me i don't know how much more may i say something i'm talking and when you keep interrupting Sorry. me i can't tell you how frustrating that is i've had that conversation with you so many times i don't interrupt you please don't interrupt me okay um i can't tell you how uh difficult it is uh, understanding the the you know, the difficulties of navigating this criminal or the, excuse me the judicial system for for this case I don't know how much more accommodating the court can be, frankly. Um, we we had a trial. I could have made a ruling that very day. And I gave you an opportunity to provide information to the court. And I'm here and two months later and I have nothing. And I have information that Ms. Winkles filed where she was trying to help you file this information <laughs> and show you how to do that. It's it's email exchanges, you and back and forth that she that she's filed with me telling you exactly what you need to do. And I still have nothing. So I, I, I am happy to hear from you. Please let me know uh, why you have done nothing. I have well, done everything. Years that we've she done. has taken, okay. I, I'm confused because when Scott Roberts was a part of my, when he was my attorney, he told me that she had taken out everything that I had put into the courts because of some kind of like, it was when I was at the doctors or whatever. And supposedly like something happened and we weren't supposed to be able to tell you about it, about his criminal history, about the DV. Apparently I wasn't supposed to speak of any of it. That's what Scott Roberts told me. So I had to sit there quietly to about the that. report and the parenting plan um, and any of that. And then with that, um, Scott Roberts, I, um, I've given him, I gave him everything. I seen him on here earlier and it kind of irritated me. I see, I gave him everything to turn in. He said he turned it in. He even gave me a declaration that he wrote out and he said he turned it in. Nothing had been turned in and I'm just now finding that out. And I apologize. I can get everything else back in. If I can get be given at least a few days, I can't, I've raised my child on my own. This is just crazy to me. Like Aaron wants to come into her life when she's three and a half old. That's fine. That's fine. But please don't take her from me. Like I, I, I've been trying to do everything I can. I did a, I did a parenting plan on my own. I did the law help one where they helped me do it. Like step by step. I thought that was pretty cool. Cause I didn't know that they did that. Um, requesting for him to have first, third weekend of the month and every other Wednesday. Um, I, I just don't understand how none of them are in there. Like I have turned them in. I I put my entire life on that. Like I'm 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 really really baffled and kind of confused, and I don't, don't understand any of this. Like it's a bad dream. And Your Honor, if I might, even if she turned those in, they're still not compliant. As I told her, that's from May of this year. It was not collateralized. None of it's collateralized. It was collateralized. It, I have that in, in 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 my office. I can send it to the court and the parties. It was not collateralized. My client was may never I, contacted. Miss Langford was never contacted, which is why she got the other email saying, you need to call. This is not collateralized. Mm -hmm. The court is very clear. It needs to be updated. 
Um, so I, I'm not yeah. sure where to go. We we were more than willing to to try to do everything we could, but if we don't have the information, I, I'm not sure where to go from here. So I'd leave it in your honor's hands. All right, Ms. Erickson, now you can talk. Please let people speak sorry, and then speak. Go ahead. I'm sorry, it's just, it, it, it angers me because that's not true. Um, so when I went to Columbia Wellness to get those paperwork for you, um, what was it, a few weeks ago to get my assessments because she said it, they weren't assessments, they were, um, what did she say they were, intakes? But they clearly stayed assessment and they were highlighted there. The lady highlighted it for her. And then that's the reason why it took a little bit longer to get to you because, well, it should be in there anyways, um, because I had to go all the way back to Columbia Wellness because the Superior Court wouldn't take it with the highlighter on it. And I didn't know that. And uh, I was speaking with the lady and I was just basically rambling like I am now and venting because I have nobody else to vent to about the situation. And she goes, well, that's funny because I had spoke to Mr. Anderson on the phone about this. He continuously tried to push that they are to contact him for collateral. And numerous times has he been told, and so has his attorney. My, my, my counselor even told my, his attorney, he told me this, that no, you were to call. The ROIs have been signed since the beginning, have been signed. They've been done. All they needed to do was call. That was my fault for saying, for not telling them Columbia Wellness, because I, I initially at the time thought they they knew it because that's what um, Vashti told me was Columbia Wellness is where you get it done. It, it just, I was going, I just had the baby. So I was kind of going through a lot, you know, um, and then plus having threats of my, my baby being taken from me when I raised her on my own. Um, it, anyways, she and I was like, really? And then she continued to say that um they she actually had to send him to one of the bigger bosses and I think his name's Chris or something like that. And he continuously argued, Aaron continuously argued, trying to make that man say that no, we are, you know, we are to contact you, you're right. And he said, No. You you've been they told him that you know you, the ROI has been done. You contact and they've contact. I was told by that lady, and it showed in my account. Supposedly, that's what she said was that they have already um, contacted over my my assessments and stuff. So I am extreme. That's why I'm getting upset because I'm extremely, extremely concerned on why people are lying so much. Like, I I, I don't understand it. I have to be honest. And then um, receiving something about my child's doctor when I had, I had already in the beginning, even Vashti knows that she goes to, not to child and adolescent. Like, where did that come from? Like, all this stuff that they're throwing at me when there's not supposed to be abusive litigation, that's said on my, on my thing, on my, on my protection order. It is stated by Mary Hahn because that's exactly what he does. And that's why I'm upset. I'm trying to calm down, I'm sorry. Um, this is what Aaron does. Um, I, uh, it's just like, it's been one thing after another, after another. I've done what I was supposed to do. I thought Scott Roberts did what he was supposed to do. He took $5,000 from us. And we worked hard for that. I don't have that. You know, I can't, I can't afford that for another attorney to show that I'm, I'm being honest. So I'm trying to use my voice and it's so hard to do this right now. Um, but everything that has came out from Ms. Winkle, and Mr. Anderson is just completely baffling. It's not even true. Like it, I don't even understand it. Like why? My, my child goes to Vancouver Clinic. She has since I gave birth to her, you know, like. Okay. I'm um, sorry, I'm a couple different. Here's. I, thank you, Miss Erickson. I understand your frustration. Um, I, the clerk 
asked of, um, she's in the courtroom, she asked of the uh, folks in the office if there was paperwork filed. Uh, they indicated that there was paperwork filed, but they weren't, uh, or brought in. They were not filed because they all have the wrong cause number on them. Um, so I asked if they could be brought to me and that's what I just received. I obviously have not reviewed them. They all have uh, the incorrect cause number on them, the parenting plan, and it looks like some healthcare records. Um, is that what you received, Ms. Winkles? It is, Your Honor. And just so you're aware, Ms. Langford has her hand up. I'm not sure if you can see that. No, I did not see that. Ms. Langford, do you, if you want to jump in here, by, by all means, go ahead and uh, make your comment. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't have camera ability. I'm at OHSU where I've been pretty much every day since Thanksgiving. So um, uh, I just want to clarify some things. I've never, ever, ever received confirmation that I am on an RRI for Columbia Wellness. As it states in my report, I've called and they keep telling me the same thing that I am not on the RRI. Um, I've reminded Ms. Um, Erickson I need to be on there for collateral. Um, the the I have not received any documentation from her since way prior to the hearing or to the trial. Um, I still have not been contacted for any additional assessment since the one we've seen in May. Uh, her attorney actually asked me for documentation and said he had nothing from her prior to him removing himself from the case. Um, I gave him what I had. Um, and I, I'm, I'm honestly probably equally frustrated because I've given reminders that this needs to happen. This needs to be done, um, prior to the trial. And I, honestly, I have medical things with my family to deal with and having to be dragged back and forth because we're still not getting what we need. is very frustrating for me at, to, because I, I want what's best for the child and we're not we're not able to do that right now because we're not getting what we need um and I've not received anything from Mrs. Erickson since w way prior to the actual trial that we had and I, I appreciate that Ms. Langford can I just ask a follow-up question um I know that you were present at the trial that we held back in um, October of this year, and at that point made recommendations. Is anything about uh, the recommendations you made at trial back in October, has anything changed, I guess? Um, no, I think that I, I would, at this point would follow, I would agree with anything that you're recommending because um, we are not, we're just not getting what we need to verify any information. And we, we're all coming back to the same courtroom for the same responses. And we, I don't, we can't say what's best for a child. If we don't have all the information, which is what we're not getting. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Um, may I say something? I, I have, I like, I have, um, I can pull it up on my phone. Even batch tie has been in there since I put there, I did it all at the same time. Why wouldn't I? I did, and it, and I told I I told her I even have an email from from Yashtai that said I was like, what do else do I need? And she said she had everything from me. I have that in the email. I can I can if I could send it over to you right now, I would. And I should have printed it out. I had a feeling to print it out, but I I've been having to use my boyfriend's work at because he's a mechanic and we don't have a printer in the apartment. So I've been trying to, you know, find out ways of getting you those documents. Um, I, I, I swear I, I have put all my ROIs in. That was my major deal. Like that's a huge deal. Why, why wouldn't I like, that's, that's my baby. I don't understand what's going on. It's like a really bad dream right now. Like really, really, really bad. Because I have, I put, I, I, if I could get you everything, I'll give you all my whole profile. It shows exactly the dates when I put those ROIs in. It shows the dates and the times. And they have been in there since way before May. And I, I'm sorry to over talk. I'm just, 
That's why I needed an attorney because I don't understand a lot of the stuff. Um, but I need them for my voice because I'm not good at what I'm doing. I'm sorry, my 11 year old's bugging me. Um, Lexi, go sit down, please. All right. Here's here's where I'm at. I I I, I kind of echo Miss Langford's comments because uh, I feel like I uh, even though we went through a trial, uh, we didn't. There wasn't a lot of information at the time. Um, Mr. Anderson hadn't even I don't believe started any kind of weekend visitations, and um, I believe that we were progressing towards those uh, with the help of uh, Miss Rosen and her uh, working with. Uh, the child here and um I, but but there's but at some point I feel you know I, I do agree with Miss Erickson that this is kind of like a bad dream because I feel like it's the same issues repeatedly over and over again I'm reviewing my notes and I'm reviewing the minutes from the trial and very specifically uh there was a discussion with um uh, Miss Erickson that she needed to sign ROIs because those had not been done and that the mental health evaluation that was done prior this year would not be appropriate because it was already at that point over five months old and a new evaluation would need to be done that was collateralized. We've done nothing. Uh, so we haven't even been able to do that. I'm going to, I'm um, going to so, be completely, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to, I'm going to talk. Um, so uh, I don't know if Miss Erickson just, chose to zone out when the court was making the rulings back in um October. I didn't hear but it. But all of the I'm I'm muting you because you keep interrupting me. So please don't unmute unless it's your turn to speak. Um very very clearly in my notes in the minutes um it was discussed that release of information need to be signed for all the parties. So they can all be contacted for input. And it sounds like the only thing that she's done is the hair follicle, which is great. And I'm glad that that came back clean. I agree with Ms. Winkles. There is some concerns if she's claiming she's on a Suboxone program and it's not even showing that. That is a concern. You, that doesn't just, I, I get immune to a Suboxone, so it's not in my hair. That's not how that works. Um, and the she did inquire of the court whether she could file a proposed parenting plan. I said, well, you can always file a proposed parenting plan. So now I just now received that after asking the clerks to have it brought back to me, even though it's under the completely wrong cause number. So um, <clears throat> I, I feel like I, I, I'm extremely frustrated. I, I I don't want to suggest at this point that Miss Erickson is a bad person, a bad mother, but I do find that there is there's some definite concerns about what her cooperation level would be like on any kind of parenting plan with Mr. Anderson. Um, she claims that she wants Mr. Anderson to have visitation and to do all that, um, and but it, I I'm just concerned uh, whether how that would how that would go her proposed parenting plan and and miss winkles you include indicated that you um did have this copy so I'm, that's why i'm referring to it um basically says that he has to comply with treatment and that he would get the first and third weekends of the month um, and that's school age and non-school age, and that's pretty much it. Um, your proposed parenting plan. I meant to put Wednesdays on there. I, I redid another one and it deleted completely. I'm okay. sorry. Um, your proposed parenting plan basically has uh, I mean, it's the extreme in the other direction that it, um, it is a phased in approach. It's an extreme until she gets the collateral mental health. And I believe it moves to um, to more of what your honor was talking about in the last in the trial, the 50 50. But without that, co that collateralized mental health, we had it the extreme. We had two actually filed. Um, we have over we've had weekends with dad. Yeah. Yes. He's had overnights. I believe he just had the last weekend.
I, I did have my overnight this last Saturday. All right. So um, I, I do recall um, it, it, we, we just have layers. I understand Miss Erickson probably is a um, stressed out uh, single parent. I know that this is not her only child. I know there's a lot going on uh, and, and, and this it, it's hard to prioritize things, but obviously this was a pretty uh, major situation. I have um, proposed orders that uh, Ms. Winkles has provided. Um, what I'd like to have happen um, is, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt the orders. There's one thing I am, I'm gonna take out uh, the 191 of substance abuse uh, as it relates to Ms. Erickson in the proposed parenting plan. Um, she was a clean hair follicle. There was a history, but, uh, her, uh, claim is that she's been clean for, uh, I believe she said six years. So great. I'm going to take that out of, um, out of the mix here. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to sign, uh, I'm going to sign this parenting plan. So what that means, Ms. Erickson is, um, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have visitation with your child until you get that parent your that evaluation done, and then once that evaluation is done and it's collateralized, then my hope is that we'll move to a 50-50 parenting plan. But you have to get that evaluation done. It has to be collateralized. That includes Miss Langford, Miss Winkles, Miss Mr. Anderson. Those people have to uh, have that information. Once that information is provided to the court, then we'll have another hearing and adjust the parenting plan based on that. Uh, is there a visitation that was scheduled for this weekend? Or when was it, was there another visitation? We were going by Charlotte. We were going by Charlotte. Mr. Anderson, was there one for this weekend? Uh, we were waiting for what the court hearing was going and Charlotte wanted me to contact her after the All Ellie knows is knows everything. You're hurting my child. I, I hope I'm not hurting your child, ma'am, but I can't No, not you, not you, not you, not I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. I was because okay. he was speaking and I'm just saying that because he never tried until I got pregnant. So it's like I raised my baby on my own. I, I'm, I'm not, I I'm not suggesting that you haven't put the work in, but there's concerns here that have been raised by multiple individuals. I really there's didn't hear the uh, going on. There was a. I had the baby and I was going through. Okay. I went through postpartum. I, I'm I'm done at this point. I can't I can't argue over the top of you. I've made it known in several court dates what's been requested of you. I've tried to give you ample opportunities to get that done. I, again, am not in any way indicating that you're a bad person or a bad mother, but there are things that the courts ordered that you've basically just ignored. So um, we have a uh, healthy relationship that's been established between father and child. And my hope is, is we'll get to a 50-50 plan, uh, hopefully within the next few months. And, uh, and this is a, t a temporary uh, situation that we're in. Um, but I'm going to uh, indicate, and there is an indication on here that once that evaluation is done and uh, that there is, you have, a, you're going to have 60 days to get that evaluation done. That doesn't mean the report has to be done in 60 days. That means it needs to be set up and um, it's just let, mentally let, me, let me rephrase that. It doesn't mean the actual evaluation, like the final report from, from the, uh, provider needs to be done in 60 days, but the appointment has to be done and made within 60 days. I'll um, do it. And then uh, I'm just gonna indicate in here 
I want to make sure, Miss Winkles, and please point it out to me if it's in here already that um, that this, and I don't know if you want to just set a review date um, or that, that Ms. Erickson can bring it back for reconsideration once that evaluation is done. Is um, I believe it says that she can motion the court the moment it's done, but if I haven't put it in there, that, that's what I would suggest, just so we don't come back and it's still missing and it looks bad. Maybe as soon as she gets done. If it's done in a week, if it's done in three weeks, however long it takes, you can just stick a motion in the court and we can come back. I thought I had it at the end of the evaluation part that she has to do it in 60 days and then she can motion the court. Otherwise, it stays the same. But I've done so many parenting plans for this case. I think I'll be honest with you. Right. I, I, can't um, remember. I don't. I, it does say, OK, so Miss Erickson, listen very carefully. It says after obtaining the relevant evaluation, you can petition the court. And I'm going to say petition the court. And it says to begin weekend visitation. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. It, I'm going to change the language here. So after, after obtaining the relevant evaluation, uh, the mother, and this is going to basically be miss, uh, an agreed agreement between Miss uh, Erickson and Miss Winkles. Uh, the mother may. Can I get my custody back? Can Can you hold Is on? Is there a way to that? The mother may begin. Sorry. Weekend visitation. So evaluation's done. Mother starts weekend visitation. Once the evaluation is done and all the parties have received the report, then um, um, mother may petition the court for. Um, a change in the parenting plan without an adequate cause finding. So what that what what that means is that once we have the evaluation, everybody's seen the evaluation and been able to weigh in on the evaluation, you come back to court and then we look at the parenting plan and decide what is best moving forward once we have that inf information. Once you've done the evaluation, your weekend visitation would start. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so I, after evaluating, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead and ask the question, Ms. Erickson. I'm so sorry. Don't um, after I after I do the collateral, I I I don't have money for an attorney because that man stole our money. I I don't know what to do. I raised her. Like, when can I get her home? That is my baby. It's our baby. It's, it's but exactly, he just now came into the picture. I I understand that, and that's that's why we're dealing with this. So, um, I'm not ordering any fees, so I'm checking any judgment um, as requested. So I'm not ordering any fees. Uh, and and okay, I'm gonna mute you again here, and we need to keep our record. Um. here there's another there's a child support order in place um miss winkles i'm going to table the child support order and after 60 days if there's nothing then i'm going to enter the child support order is that fair that's absolutely fine and your honor just so you're aware we'd be okay with her filing just a motion rather than a petition um just because i believe since she's pro se my, my client doesn't he wants to be easy but he wants to have the information is really where we're at. So we're we're fine with a motion rather than the full petition because that might be a little bit more confusing for somebody who's pro se. Okay. I don't even understand any of that right now. I'm sorry, I don't. My brain's well, just. I and I understand that, Miss Erickson. I I would remind you, um, and I, I'm assuming Miss Winkles, you're going to stay on in this case. I am, Your Honor. Um, everything that Ms. Winkles has filed that uh, about your interactions 
uh, have done nothing but indicate to at least me that she's trying to help both of you through this process. Uh, so uh, if if you have a question, I, based on what Ms. Winkles has, has indicated thus far, I think she would be willing to uh, at least try to answer those questions for you. She can't obviously represent both of you, um, but I've changed that to may motion the court. So that means you just say, I need to have a hearing in front of the judge about my parenting plan. That's and, and you come in and the clerk will help you and you file that. Make sure it's on the right cause number. And, and so you know that we're under the cause number of 2331508. Um, parent, the child support orders I am gonna set aside. So I'm not ordering any child support at this point. At, after 60 days, Ms. Erickson, I want you to be very clear. If you don't do anything after 60 days, then this is just gonna be the order. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. That's not possible. And I'm going to um, make sure that I, I'll put I'm, three copies in. And if anybody takes it out, then I don't know what else to say. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, and again, yeah. once you get what that you process saying? started, it sounds like Miss Winkles will help you ensure that everybody's on there. Everybody's doing what they need to do. I can't um, trust her. I'm sorry. Okay, well then do it on your own, I guess. No, um, I, I need I don't, help. I don't know. I can't here. give you any legal advice. So at, from, from sitting on the bench, I can't give you legal advice. There is the Northwest Justice Project. There is Cowles County Legal Aid. Uh, I don't know where you reside. If you reside outside Cowles County, you can contact your local legal aid. Um, but there are services available uh, Mondays and, uh, from 12 starting mid-January Mondays from noon to 2 p.m. There's a free attorney that's here at the courthouse that you can, can come and talk my to. Baby? I'm sorry? Can I bring my little baby with me? Of course or is can. that Yes, no, that, you're, it's not in a courtroom. It's just in the lobby in a in a, in a room off the lobby of, a, of the courthouse. So if you need to bring your children, her. of course, you can bring your children. Um, and um, we'll get all of this process started. I'm going to I'm going to ask. Um, I'm going to ask that this be filed. That your information be filed with a cover sheet with a proper cause number on it, so it shows that you filed something. Okay, Miss Erickson, because I uh, uh, want to make sure that you know you obviously attempted to, but it has the wrong cause number. So I'm going to ask that they file it yes. with the correct, correct cause number on it. I only um, put the um, the protection order cause number, and I apologize for that. That's I didn't okay. really. That's okay. Um, I'm going to ask that, um, I don't know if, uh, How am I, gonna I see think Miss Miss Rosen is probably going to need to, um, any counseling sessions that we can set up in the next week or two are probably appropriate. I would like the, um, exchange to happen if at all possible. So Miss Erickson would, uh, exchange the child with, uh, Mr. Anderson on Sunday, the 24th. Uh, no later than uh, there's a protection order. Can my dad do it? 6 p.m. Absolutely. Okay, so I want you to have some time on, uh, and if you want to, if the parties agree to a later time on the 24th, that's fine. But the exchange on the 24th, so mom gets Christmas Eve, and then dad will have Christmas Day, and and then we're going from there. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 sorry, I just want to say, if she needs help with things that I can help with, I'm totally willing to help her. Um, but I can't help with everything, obviously. But I'm willing to help where I can. I asked you. Uh, well, Miss Langford's indicating that she's willing to help you. If I, I don't know, I I understand you're frustrated, and I don't understand you don't like the court's decision, but uh, um it's it's time we need to get this sorted out and you need to follow through with what the court requested of you two months ago. So that'll be the order of the court. If it needs to be brought back, any other no, uh, get out of it. presentations or um, if it needs to be before me, that'll have to be Fridays come the new year. All right. Thank you, Art. So do you guys think she's been clean for six years? Just a thought I had. And then what's up with the hair follicle test? It should have shown Suboxone. It, it should have shown either Suboxone or the metabolites, I guess. But however, hair follicle tests work. 
it should have shown something. So there's something fishy about that. And I, I just, I don't know what. And I, because of how scattered she was acting and because she didn't do the things that she was supposed to do, I think the judge made the right call. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.